So, what is up everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. So today in Dubai, as you can see, the sun is shining on me, but it is coming to the evening and we are catching a flight in five hours time back to the UK to the cold weather. There's one more thing I want to show you guys and I'm so lucky enough to visit the space. Now this is a private collection which we are so lucky to be able to visit, let alone film. So without further ado, come with me and let me show you easily one of the best collections I've seen, in my opinion, probably in Dubai, considering how rare the cars are, and you just need to see what hypercars they have. in the space and already we have got is it a donkey or is it a horse i'm not too sure but we're here for the car so if you come this way we are greeted with something foreshadowing maybe a future car in this collection a one of eight model bugatti devo isn't it crazy how this is here right now maybe maybe the real ones in the collection who knows but we are starting off with some extremely rare rolls royces all around now check out the gold details on this one. Now I'm not the biggest Rolls Royce fan, hence why I don't know many details about them, but I thought whilst just entering the space, just have a look at this and the gold around it, the handles from the mirrors to the buttons, it is absolutely insane. But anyway, Rolls Royces are cool, they're just not really for me. But this is, this is like, it's straight out of Doctor Who. I mean, it's like the TARDIS, the spaceship, it's crazy. But if I show you inside, Please join me inside this spaceship. We have this lovely room. Now, here we have a Koenigsegg Regera. A little hint, this is part of the collection, but is at service right now. So we could say we've seen it as a, well, 180 model, only 80 made in the world and still probably more expensive than I've ever made. But it is very cool to see this and just check that out. The massive light shining down. It's quite a cool, relaxing, chill out room. But we haven't come here for this. Let's carry on. So here we are. We are starting with some of the beasts. Here we've got the Mantra G-Wagon Glonos, which has got like gold leaf bits in it. It's, it's nuts. I'll show you the interior in a second. But starting off with this, let's go this way. On Friday, I was actually on top of this Brabus beast. I'll also insert that here. And then we've got another G-Wagon. I mean, they do so many crazy mods here out in Dubai. But let's start with our first supercar. So we have the Ferrari Pista Spider. I suppose a common spec, let's say. Yellow and black, black wheels. I would have gone for the silver wheels, but it's amazing to see this in the collection. Starting off, let's say slow. We then moved to the Ferrari F12. This is the 70th edition, which you can tell with the blue front lip, you've got the red seats and the 70th badge at the side. Now I think this is amazing and it's so rare to see 70th editions nowadays and uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of this, I do like it. Moving on to the Hurricane Evo, the special championship uh, limited edition series, you'll be able to tell that with all the Corsa stickers all over the car and again this blue under these lights look amazing, massive massive fan of this. We then move to one of the big boys, the one of 80 Ferrari SA Aperta. Now, I've only been lucky enough to see this drive in Monaco. London, no one's brave enough, let alone even show it in a showroom. They're all hidden underground, which is really annoying because uh, these are, again, one of the best cars ever made. Simple as that. And on Friday, we got a startup and even Sots is smiling because that startup was ridiculous. I'll also show you that in the video. And uh, yeah, it's very cool to see one of these here. We then have got the Lamborghini SVJ Roadster 63 edition. Now, there's a lot of people faking these now. And the way to tell is this 63 is not a sticker. It is in the paint. You've also got the plaque at the side 
and in the middle headrest, the 63 is engraved in the SVJ. Now, there's a guy in London that has got stickered up 63 on it. We noticed it straight away because we know the difference between a fake one and a real one, but it is still cool to see a real 63. And I think this is our third one out here. So it's cool to start ticking them off the list. Okay, so the next car in this insane private collection here at The Space is the Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG Black Series. Now, it's so rare to see a Black Series these days. Of course, in Dubai, though, we've seen about five already because Dubai clearly has everything and you will know why when we move around the collection. But it's cool to see one in solar beam yellow. But a really cool feature about this is it's got yellow seats. Now, I've never seen one with yellow seats. I've seen quite a few in yellow, uh, being the common color and the launch spec it came out in. Yellow seats is an awesome feature on this car. So, again, the space has small different bits that make all these cars unique, which uh, I love. Well, then we have, well, technically our first hypercar. Some people might not count the SA Apert as a hypercar, which I kind of agree is more of a like a high-end supercar, like TDF level. The LaFerrari, one of 499 coupes. Um, what is there to say about this? It's a V12 monster, my first ever hypercar I got to go out in and uh, yeah, it's very special to see this in the collection. Part of the Holy Trinity, you have then got the McLaren P1. Now, this is no ordinary McLaren P1. This is a one of five carbon series. I've never seen one of these before. There's only one of 375 P1s made. Five of them were finished in full carbon. When I mean full carbon, you'll see in the B-roll, full carbon. It's got red lining all around the car, stitching inside, red seat belts. The contrast between black carbon and red I think goes so well. However, a little secret, one of the carbon series did crash. So technically it's one of four, but on the back, which you'll see, it's one of five. And of course, you know, being the Holy Trinity, you've got the Laugh P1. Might have to find a 918 in here. Who knows? Next, coming back to British soil, the new McLaren Elva, one of 106 made. Now, I still don't even know if they're even gonna sell 106, let alone if they've made 106, but this is finished in a beautiful orange. It's got the racing helmet and no window shield, which is crazy. I mean, it's cool, but when you compare stuff like to the Sterling Moss, Monza, I suppose even the Aston Martin V12 Speedster, I don't know where the Elva sits. For over 1.5 million, like, I don't know. I'm not too sure on it. It looks amazing in this collection, but realistically, are you going to pay 1.5 million for this car? Mm, I don't know, but in the space, they have it here. And yeah, it looks amazing under these lights. I am a big fan of it. And uh, yeah, maybe one day I'll be able to experience this. Who knows? Right, so but again, because it's a private collection, there are stuff like photo shoots and everything happening everywhere. Now, this space right here is one very special car. We'll come back to it shortly. In the meantime, here's a Ferrari Monza in a beautiful color combination, of course, Rosso Corsa, but in the blue with a, well, let's say McDonald's spec, my perfect car, really, because I live on McDonald's. But this Monza is awesome. We've seen, I would say, about four or five of these out here, and uh, by far the best spec one with a tan interior. And once again on Friday, we got to hear this start up, and my God, under the roof of this building, it just shook. Imagine having no window shield, no roof, hearing that sound. You wouldn't need a stereo, you would not need Spotify. This is the music you get from the car. Right, I suppose now we start with the big gun. I mean, to be able to talk to you like this, not in a car show, not with ropes behind it, but with 4K massive TV screens around me in one of the coolest collections, and I get to talk to you guys next to a Bugatti Devo. I mean, where do I begin? I didn't think I'd ever get this chance, and here I am. So this is my third Devo, I believe. We've seen one in Dubai, which we're very lucky enough to see driving, and then there's the UK registered one, Bug One. This is no ordinary Devo. Yes, it's finished in a beautiful blue uh, carbon, and the Le Mans blue uh, finished the two-tone. This is number 40 out of 40. Like, you're not going to get any much cooler than this Devo. It has got the gold wheels, the uh, French, you know, bits around it. I th it's just stunning, absolutely stunning. And I can go on and on and on about this car, but it's just perfect. The Devo is like the king of the hypercars at the moment. And this one being the last Devo made is even more special. But 
because it's this special, I'm going to take you around the car. So if you follow this way, and we can just see a bit more about it. You've got the French flag here. Uh, you can see the blue carbon on the mirrors. And then you've got the beautiful blue leather interior, which is stunning. And then, of course, the Devo and these lights. You can see how it just comes down. And you can see under the lights, the blue carbon, the W16 engine, and then that for rear. And the cool thing is when the lights come on, they come on individually like pixels and light up. And then their new iconic exhaust, it's like paper cutted for, I mean, it's incredible. So where do you go from the Bugatti Devo? We've had a mix of hypercars and high-end supercars. Now the space just do it different. They created the space for more of creativity and what you can do with stuff. And this, I'd love to share my passion with cars and tell you a bit more, not in detail, because I don't want to be a nerd and tell you much about the cars, but I want to showcase you what I think is one of the best private collections, but what they have, but the opportunities they give you. And as you can see in McLaren Elva, well, they have also gone and got another McLaren Elva. And I'm not even kidding you. It is generally like in the same spec, apart from the probably chassis number and uh, again you've already heard me talk about this one and there's I can't talk about anything else apart from what I said about that one because it is the exact same why not have two of each other well yes they've gone and got another carbon series McLaren P1 I mean you might say why I say why not like why not and maybe little secret info they're trying to get the other two. Imagine having four of these here. But once again, under this light, the carbon is phenomenal. The only difference to this one is the top of the steering wheel. This is all finished in red, whereas the other one was black. Apart from that, as far as I know, they are absolutely identical. And uh, again, like the SVJ with the 63, they have P1, uh, not stickers, but they're in the paint all around the car saying carbon series, P1, you get the idea. It is stunning. And uh, yeah, so we've gone from an Elva to from an Elva, a P1 from a P1. We've had the Laf Coupe. We now have the LaFerrari Aperta. It's like they might as well just buy every pack of cars in here. So we have the Aperta right now. One of 249, I believe, from 499 Coupes to 249 Apertas, I believe. And yes, it is stunning. Probably the perfect like, kind of like Dubai car to go in. I mean, cruising around this with the Dubai sun, the heat, zooming around Shakespeare Road, I bet it's the dream. And uh, yeah, it's finishing a classy spec. Again, Rosso Corsa with the lovely Aperta pinstripes and the 70th anniversary badges on the side. Not much to say apart from, like I said, with the Alaf. They've just nailed it, haven't they? So we've gone from the Alaf P1. Now you remember me saying, is there a 918 in the collection? Well, there's not just any 918 in the collection. There's a yellow one. Now, this is actually my first time seeing a yellow one. At the start of our Dubai trip, we did actually see a yellow one undercover. But here, right now, with the Y-Satch package, which looks incredible, you know, I think Y-Satch only works with certain specs. With the yellow, I think it works perfectly. I think it's really cool. Great to see one in yellow and great to see a vibrant spec, especially in Dubai. And you can see these cars, uh, they're not boring specs. Even though the P1s are very dark, it's full carbon. The Mons in the crazy spec. The Devo's got gold wheels. The Elvas in orange. But yes, here is the yellow Porsche 918. And what's very cool about it is it's got the yellow seat belts, yellow stitching, and none of the acid green stitching or what you find in most 918s. So it's very special to see this one here. And uh, yeah, it's very cool. I've heard from the people at the, at the space, this is the best driving car. Out of the three right here, as you can see, we have the Holy Trinity right now complete. I would pick the LaFerrari. I would 100% pick the LaFerrari, but I've heard from so many owners, this is the best driving car. And uh, we'll just leave the P1, I suppose. So from the P1 to the younger brother, we have got the McLaren Senna. Now this is finished in kind of like a matte spec with orange details around the car. It's kind of, kind of is a stealthy spec. This is probably the only car in the collection that's not vibrant as such, but it's still amazing. Cool to see another Senna. Uh, we've seen plenty this trip, to be fair. And uh, yeah, we've got a McLaren Senna from one big wing to another big wing, the AMG GT Black Series. Now, again, this is a new car that's only just come out in the UK. I'd say there's only about 10, pretty much. There will be more deliveries, but we've only had about 10. 
We've seen at least 25 out here. They are so common in showrooms. First Motors had three in a row. And again, like the lava orange, it's finished in carbon. It's a massive front grille. It looks so aggressive and so mean. And uh, that wing at the back, it nearly puts the center GTR to shame. Considering this is a road car, that wing is insane. So pretty much we've gone from pairs to the Holy Trinity, everything matches together. And now we've come down to the category of like big wings. We've got the Senna, we've got the GTBS. We've now got the Ferrari 812 Mansory Stallone, or Stallone, however you want to say it. So by Mansory, they've got an 812, uh, in this case a coupe, and just sticks a mad forge, uh, forge carbon on the front of the hood, badge, extra bits around it and had a massive wing on the back. Now we were so lucky enough to see one of these driving outside the Dubai Mall, but it was actually a GTS version. Now I've not seen a GTS version. I've seen one of these in London back in 2019. One of these arrived uh, again on Arab plates and it sounded ridiculous. And I can only imagine this sounds insane as well, but the details on this car, which again, you'll see in the B-roll is phenomenal. The forged carbon around this car People will call it ugly, I call it amazing. I like cars that get modded like this. I think you need to be different. Although this is in red, they've added the Mansory kit, the Stallone kit to it, so it's acceptable. Moving on, we've got the Lamborghini Huracan STO, another kind of new car. Uh, I've been lucky enough to see quite a few so far. And again, this is only the second one I've seen in this spec in England. Well, of course, all my followers, because now I'm in Dubai, it feels to me weird saying that. There was one at Goodwood in this exact spec. I think it was one of the press cars. And uh, yeah, chilling in the spaces collection, they've got an STO. Now this is mad around the track. I've heard of Top Gear, you know, this is a track weapon. Well, we are now given these two. We have got the 488 Challenge on my left. On my right, we've got the Porsche GT2 RS Club Sport. Now, I don't think you're gonna get any better for a track car like this. I have been out in the 488 Challenge before at Anglesey. That was a, a memory I'll never forget, an experience that I don't think I'll be able to share anytime soon. It was a one-off experience. It was incredible with petrol hedonism and uh, it's all stickered up in the proper Challenge livery style, but this is very rare. So rare enough, we've already seen one in Dubai. Classic Dubai, always having pairs. And funny enough, the steering wheel is here. It's all like the matte carbon right now. And yeah, that wing is ridiculous. And uh, I'd probably pick this as my favorite track weapon of a car choice. Two more cars left until maybe the secret one will come out. We might have to wait a little bit, but it'll be worth it. We have got the Pagani Wire Roadster. Now you might have thought we've been done with hypercars. No, they had to have a Pagani in the collection. And like I said earlier, they do have a Koenigsegg. So as a proper private collection, they've got the Bugatti, Pagani and Koenigsegg. So that's when you know it's a high tier collection. The space know how to do it. And look at the space we've got. This room, this facility is just phenomenal. And right in the middle, we have the Pagani Wirat Roadster. This one finished in a beautiful blue carbon, gold wheels, uh, God of Wind, of course, being the wirer. And uh, on Friday, we were lucky enough to sit in this car and it was a dream of mine always to sit in a Pagani. And when people say about how their works of art, the interior is literally like every pixel way, I agree. I knew it before, but when you sit in this car, it's like nothing other. Like genuinely, I've sat in very fortunate enough, hundreds of supercars. This right here is just a work of art. Inside, you will see how gorgeous it is, how every, metal pedal, button, all matches together like a painting. It's, it's incredible. And this, this color, the gold stripe going down it is amazing. And it's great to see a Roadster. Pretty perfect for Dubai if you ask me. And then behind it, which sounds really, not pathetic, I can't say that, but it's an SF90. When you go from a wire Roadster, we have the SF90, which is very cool. Uh, again, the new kind of hybrid mid-engine SF90, which is stupidly quick. This on Shakespeare Road would do it in seconds. I can't, Im it's probably one of the fastest cars actually here in the collection. Probably alongside the 9 and 8, I would say these two have a good chance, but you'll see how far down the engine sits, which is crazy. It always blows my mind when I first saw this in London and saw it, the mid engine. But yeah, it's cool to see an SF90. I've seen these before. 
But when you come to like a wire roadster, that's when the smile and the grin goes crazy. So at the space, this is their collection. I mean, the Holy Trinity, they've got a Devo. They've got two Elvers. What more can you ask for? Well, if you remember the start of the video, I showed you that white Devo model. Yes, they have got another pair, and the pair is Devos. They've got two Devos, and the other one finished in quartz uh, matte white, I believe, and it is stunning. And I'd pick that over the blue one, and hopefully soon, when it comes out of that kind of like chamber locker, let's say, the beast will hopefully come out, and hopefully I will be able to show you guys and hear that rumble. TDF like that. Not bad, not bad. Normally I'd be all over that, but very quickly. Look at this, another Devo and the full white one. With the model, which again I think is like a one eighth, like I was saying, it took two years for them to get this. And yeah, here I am with another Devo in such a stunning studio like location around the back. And yeah, why not get some cool pictures which you can check out on my Instagram? But um, never say less. There's another Bugatti Diva here. And this is why the space has got one of the best car collections, the creative space around here that I've ever seen. So then, a break from cars and I've got my own space now. This whole place is to do with space, but just let me get into the point before I fall off this thing. In the Dubai sun, probably burning out right now, but in there is easily one of the best private collections I've seen. And to be fortunate enough to see the collection, you know, it's a dream come true. And I cannot thank the space enough for that opportunity. So I'll leave all their links to their social medias in the description. And of course, coming on this Dubai trip with Supercars on the Streets, Thomas and Greg from GRJ underscore media, who you can check out on Instagram with his photography. It's been unreal and we've saved the best till last. Our flight is in like five hours, but I'm gonna go back to sleep. And what a day and trip it's been.